Hi, hello, welcome back to Math and Me with me, Nikhila Shankar. Now, moving on to class 10, chapter number 3. Linear equation in two variables. If we have polynomials chapter, we saw linear equation in one variable and a quadratic. What did we see? We saw ax square plus bx plus c. In the other way, we see that we only have x. So, x is the only variable. Now, we have two variables. So, what are the variables going to be? We have x and y. So, you have two different variables. Okay, and how is your equation going to look like? In the other way, a, b, c. You have a, b and c. So, here x square, x constant. You have x, y and constant. So, this is the equation. So, what is your equation? It is going to be ax plus by plus c equals 0. All the coefficients and x and y terms are to the left of the equal to symbol and to the right we have 0. Okay, in the Martha Arkapodhi. So, this is going to be linear equation in two variables where a and b, a, b, c are real numbers and a not equal to 0. Obviously, a not equal to 0, b not equal to 0. If a equal to 0, a and b are 0, we have c equal 0. So, this is not going to be a linear equation in two variables. Correct? So, you need a not equal to 0 and b not equal to 0. So, this is also important. And this is important that they exist in pairs. Okay? So, if we look at the example, for example, you have x square plus 2x plus 1. In the same equation, you can find the value of x. You can find x minus 1 into x minus 1. So, from this, when you equate this to 0, you have x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1. So, you have alpha and beta values. In the same way, since you have two different variables, since you have two variables, x and y, you need two different equations to solve them. So, you need two different equations to solve them. Yet then a variable require. For example, if you have three variables, x, y, z, you will need three equations to solve the variables. x, y, z. Okay. Now we are going to deal with two variables. So you have two different equations. Okay. Now this can be solved and the values of x and y can be found out by using two different methods. In uh, one is going to be calculation method and the other one is going to be graphical method. Okay. So now first talk about the graph. How to solve two different equations using graph. This is the first. Second day we are going to do using calculation. Graph is not a very calculation. Okay. So I have written substitution and elimination method. There is one more thing called cross multiplication but that is not there for your exam. But I will teach you one or two questions in cross multiplication. Yana, it will be useful in your 11th and 12th standard. You know, Naraya subject, Naraya syllabus vandhi CBSE cut pantanga, omit pantanga, adhi sandosha padadhinga, 11th la kashta padavinga. So, ipave na or rend sum matto. Adha matta ennan terinju konga, just in case 11th la use aach na, appo useful arukon, appo pudusa arukadhi. Okay? So, know what the topic is. Cross multiplication la rende e rende question. Rende question da. Okay? We'll learn that. Okay, if a graph is a moon, what all should you know for a graph? You need to know about intersecting lines, parallel lines, and coincident lines. Okay, intersecting line and line layer, the name layer. So you have one line is going to intersect another line. So in the intersect achna, what is the point of intersection? You only have one point of intersection. Correct? One point of intersection irkna, it means you only have a unique solution. Unique na one and only solution. So for intersecting lines, you have unique solution. Okay, but number end equation in a path, you saw a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0. Ido equation. Inu equation in a a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0. In the end equation path, so what are the coefficients going to be? You have a1, a2, the coefficients of x. Coefficient of y and b1, b2. And what is the constant? c1, c2. Okay. If a unique solution, you have a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2, not equal to c1 by c2. Okay. Motatala yedu me equal arkadi. You have a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2, not equal to c1 by c2. The ratio of the coefficients of corresponding x, y, and constant are not equal. Okay. This is unique solution. Unique solution na intersecting lines. So, if a solution irka, unique solution na, there is a solution. So, you call it consistent. Consistent na anartho solution irka. Okay. It has a consistent value or value irka. Okay. Ipa parallel lines. So, when you talk about parallel lines, you see that these two lines are not intersecting. So, rend line intersecte aagala na, ipa in the rend line ipa intersect aachana, this is going to be the solution. The point of intersection is going to be the solution. Inge solution e illa. Because there is no point of intersection, which means you have no solution. So, no solution na anartho, solution na illa. So, it means it is going to be inconsistent. Okay, inconsistent na solution illa. 
யுனிக் சொல்யூஷன் சொல்யூஷன் இருக்கு ஸோ இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் இப்போ இந்த கேஸில் வாட் இஸ் த ஃபார்ம்ல வாட் இஸ் த வே டு செக் இட் யூ ஹாவ் ஏ ஒன் பை ஏ டூ ஈக்வல்ஸ் பி ஒன் பை பி டூ ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரெண்டு கோஎிஷியன்ட் எக்ஸ் கோஎிஷியன்ட் அண்ட் ஒய் கோஎிஷியன்ட் ஆர் ஈக்குவல் ஓகே பிகாஸ் தே ஆர் பேரல் லைன்ஸ் யூ ஹாவ் எக்ஸ் கோஎிஷியன்ஸ் and y coefficients correct so they are all going to be equal obviously parallel lines constant order ratio is not going to be equal okay so this is something you have to remember so a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 okay but last uh, you have coincident lines coincident na en artham it is going to be coinciding one ku mele one one is going to be on top of the other so you have the first line like this then you have the second line on top of that then you have a third line on top of that so for example you have three different lines line 1 line 2 and line 3 pa inge me you have line 1 line 2 and line 3 you have three different lines but they are all coincident lines ipa coincident a irundaduna enna artham we have a many points of intersection ipa l1 and l2 ku you have many points of intersection here l2 and l3 ki you will have so many points of intersection so how many points does it have it has infinite solutions okay ஒன்னு இல்ல ரெண்டு இல்ல பட் இட் ஹாஸ் இன்ஃபைனைட் சொல்யூஷன் பிகாஸ் இட் ஹாஸ் மல்டிபிள் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் இன்டர்செக்ஷன் ஸோ சொல்யூஷன் இருக்கா சொல்யூஷன் இருக்கு பட் நிறைய இருக்கு ஸோ சொல்யூஷன் இருந்ததுன்னா இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் ஓகே ஸோ யூ ஹாவ் யூனிக் சொல்யூஷன் அண்ட் இன்ஃபைனைட் சொல்யூஷன் விச் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் பிகாஸ் சொல்யூஷன் இருக்கு பட் வென் இட் இஸ் நோ சொல்யூஷன் த சொல்யூஷன் இஸ் இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி இன்கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் அண்ட் இந்த இடத்துல கேஸ் என்ன யூ ஹாவ் ஏ ஒன் பை ஏ டூ ஈக்வல்ஸ் வி ஒன் பை பி டூ ஈக்வல் சி ஒன் பை சி டூ ஸோ இப்போ இதை எப்படி ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்க போறோம் ஃபார் யூனிக் சொல்யூஷன் for i'll write it here so for unique solution nothing is equal a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 ipa infinite solution ke epdi irukapode rendu me consistent infinite solution ke everything is equal a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 equals c1 by c2 but parallel line ke enadhu when you have parallel lines which means no solution you only have the coefficients of x and y to be equal a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 okay idu nyabu vechuk mudiyuma very easy okay now let's solve a question graphically so graphically enna kuduthiruka let's solve an example you'll understand x plus 3y equals 6 2x minus 3y equals 12 so how do you find solutions for such graphs so first equation and i you have x plus 3y equals 6 ஓகே இப்போ x is equal to 6 minus 3y இப்போ நான் என்ன பண்ண போறேன் ஐ அம் கோயிங் டு பிளாட் தி கிராஃப் which means i'm going to take values for x and y okay இப்போ இந்த இடத்துல when i substitute value of y to be 0 i have 6 minus 0 which is going to be 6 so x value becomes 6 புரிஞ்சதா when y value is 0 x value is going to be 6 next இப்போ y value 1 னு போடுறேன் so i have 6 minus 3 when i substitute y value again here i'll have 6 minus 3 which is going to be 3 okay ipa next when i substitute y value to be 2 i have 6 minus 6 which is going to be 0 okay so three points plot panna podum more than that is not needed venuna pannala but not needed okay so ipa points eppadi irukku podu the points are going to be first point 6 comma 0 nama eppadi points eduvom you'll write it as x comma y correct ipa x and y values edralama 6 comma 0 then you have 3 comma 1 and then you have 0 comma 2 so this is for line number 1 okay indha edathla l1 nu potukuren ipa what is l2 L2 from the question is going to be 2x minus 3y equals 12. So, we have 2x minus 3y equals 12. Now, let's plot for this. Adhik modala, we'll write it in the simplest form. So, we have 2x equals 12 plus 3y. So, x equals 12 plus 3y divided by 2. Correct? Now, we have a little bit of a little bit. Let this not block the place. Okay? Now, when I substitute the values for x, I have x, y. I'll start substituting. When I put value of y to be 0, if y is equal to 0, na na go, I'll have 12 divided by 2, which is going to be 6. Okay? Now, when I substitute the value of 1, I have 12 plus 3 into 1 divided by 2. So, if I have 15 divided by 2, but let's avoid some decimal numbers. Decimal numbers illa maradudna, it will be a little easy to solve. So, na na panna pora, let me take some negative values. Yana, in that la 12 irukku, periya number arukku. So, since you add, you are going to get a bigger number. Graph la plot pannradhu, konjo kashta maarukku. So, let's take negative values. So, let us take even numbers which are negative. So, you have 12 plus 3 into minus 2 divided by 2. So, you have 12 plus minus 6 divided by 2 which is going to be 6 divided by 2 3 so when y value is going to be minus 2 x value is going to be 3 ipo next minus enna edukalam minus 4 edukalam because i see there is a 12 so we have 12 plus 3 into minus 4 divided by 2 equals we have 12 minus 12 divided by 2 which is going to be 0 okay so in the point me easy so what are the points going to be we have 6 comma 0 
3 comma minus 2 and 0 comma minus 4. Now we plot this. So let us plot these points. Now line 1 we have 6 comma 0. So 6 comma 0 na I can plot 6 comma 0 which is on the x-axis. So this is going to be this point. Then we have 3 comma 1. 3 comma 1 is 3 comma 1 is going to be over here. Then you have 0 comma 2. 0 comma 2 is on the y-axis. So when I join these 3 points, I am going to get my line 1. So this is going to be line 1. Okay. If a line 2 and then the points we have 6 comma 0. Where is 6 comma 0? It is going to be again on the x-axis. So you have 6 comma 0. Then you have 3 comma minus 2. 3 comma minus 2 3 comma minus 2 is going to be here. Then you have 0 comma minus 4. 0 comma minus 4. So when I join these 3 points, I am going to have this particular line. So this is going to be Line 2. If you have a point of intersection, and I see that the lines are getting intersected at 6, 0. Correct? So, what is the point of intersection from this? I can write it as, let me erase this. So, I can write the point of intersection, point of intersection is 6, 0 and hence it has a unique solution. Unique solution ke criteria na a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. So, that one check pan lama, we'll check that condition also. So, what are your a1, b1, c1? Adala adala first. So, your equation is going to be x plus 3y equals 6. So, you have x plus 3y equals 6. This is our default formula. You can write this as x plus 3y minus 6 equals 0. So, if a1 and a1 is going to be 1, then b1, b, b1 equals 3 and c1 equals minus 6. Correct? I print out the equation and now you have 2x minus 3y equals 12. So, you have 2x minus 3y minus 12 equals 0. So, you have a2 equals 2, then b2 equals minus 3 and c2 equals minus 12. Okay? If I have ratio over the top, so a1 divided by a2 equals 1 divided by 2. b1 divided by b2 equals 3 divided by minus 3 which is going to be minus 1. Then c1 divided by c2 equals minus 6 divided by minus 12 which is going to be 1 divided by 2. We see that a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 but equal to c1 by c2 that does not matter. So, you have a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. So, first and coefficient to equal I illana you can say that they are not intersecting lines. Okay. So, we have proved it geometrically and calculation wise. Okay. And in the formula wise, ratio wise. Okay. Please copy. Now, example 2. So, first of all, before finding the solutions, we will solve using the ratio. Let me first write it in the default way. So, I have 5x minus 8y plus 1 equals 0. So, from this I have a1 equals 5, b1 equals minus 8, c1 equals 1. Okay, for second equation, you have 3x minus 24 divided by 5, y plus 3 divided by 5 equals 0. Now, I the first whole numbers. So, I am going to multiply the whole equation by 5. So, I am going to multiply on both sides. So, if the equation is this becomes 15x minus, in that 5, 5 cancel, I will be left with 24y plus here the 5 will get cancelled. So, I will have 3, 5 are 15. So, 15 equals 5 into 0 which is also going to be 0. So, from this I have a2 equals 15, b2 equals minus 24 and c2 equals 15. Now, ratio can we have a1 divided by a2 equals 5 divided by 15 which is going to be 1 by 3. Next, b1 divided by b2 equals minus 8 divided by minus 24. So, this is also going to be 1 by 3. Then you have c1 divided by c2 which is going to be 1 divided by 15. So, what do you see from here? You have a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 but last coefficient is not equal. Correct, c1 by c2 is not equal from this. So, what is this going to be? This is going to be parallel lines. First, x and y coefficients are equal. Arke. So, this is going to be parallel lines. Parallel lines ka solution irka. So, they do not have solutions. So, the answer is going to be no solution. So, in the ratio which you can find out. Graph alam, plot can find out. Graph alam plot pannu na So, no solution. So, from this, we can say that this is going to be inconsistent. Okay, in the mari moon with the example. So, this is going to be inconsistent. Okay, please copy. Now, example 3. If you have narrow numbers, you have equation direct. Now, we are going to look at word problems. Word problems in the first equation derive panite, aprama solve panu. Okay, so Champa went to a sale to purchase some pants and skirts. When her friends asked her how much of each she had bought, she answered the number of skirts is 2 less than twice the number of pants. Okay, so first is skirt, pant, rendu So let us write 
number of skirts equals x and number of pants equals y. Now, we will see the first question. Line, the number of skirts is 2 less than twice the number of pants. The number of skirts, so number of skirts and number of skirts x is going to be 2 less than twice the number of pants. First, twice the number of pants na na 2y. The twice the number of pants are the same. 2 less than. So, you have to subtract it on this side. Punjada, if a pant 4 is the same, the same, if you subtract 2, you will get 2 here. You should not subtract 2 here. Punjada, you should know where to subtract and where to add. When it is given that the number of skirts is going to be twice the number of pant minus 2. Abdi na na pant is the same. So, pant to count and it is going to be 2y and minus 2. Punjada. So, this is going to be the number of skirts. Number of skirts is 2 less than twice the number of pants purchased. So, this is your first equation. Second, Anna Soldra, also the number of skirts is 4 less than 4 times the number of pants purchased. Again, number of skirts is going to be 4 less than 4 less than 4 times the number of pants purchased. So, this is, this is going to be your two different equations. These are the equations. Okay. So, they will be x minus 2y plus 2 equals 0. This is one equation and you have x minus 4y minus 4 equals 0. So, these are your two different equations. Okay. If a a1 and a, you have a1 equals 1, b1 equals minus 2 and c1 equals plus 2. Then you have a2 equals 1, b2 equals minus 4 and c2 equals minus 4. If a a1, a2, b1, b2 ratio and a, a1 by a2 equals 1 divided by 1 which is 1. Then b1 by b2 equals minus 2 divided by minus 4 which is 1 divided by 2. Then c1 by c2 equals 2 divided by minus 4 which is minus 1 divided by 2. We have a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 divided by c2. So, from this what do we have? This is going to be intersecting lines. Intersecting the yadu may equal our So, this is going to be intersecting lines and hence you have unique solution. So, then a solution can put So, let us plot the graph. So, what are the two different equations? x is equal to 2y minus 2. So, x equals 2y minus 2 and the other equation is going to be x equals 4y minus 4. So, x equals 4y minus 4. Now, you have x, y. Plot pan lama when y value equals 0. When I substitute 0 here, what do I have? x is equal to minus 2. Then, when y value equals 1, we have 2 minus 2 which is 0. Then, y value equals 2 in pota, you have 2, 2 is 4. 4 minus 2 is going to be again 2. Okay, three different solutions po If I either I have x and y. So, here again when I substitute y value to be 0, we have minus 4. y value 1 in pota, 4 minus 4, 0. y value 2 in pota, 4, 2 is 8. 8 minus 4 is again going to be 4. So, what are the different points? We have minus 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 2. This is the first line. Ke. Second line, ke, we have minus 4, 0, 0, 1, 4, 2. Points are correct. Okay? So, if you first minus 2, 0. Where is minus 2, 0? Minus 2 is going to be on the x axis. So, minus 2, 0. Okay. Next, 0, 1. So, 0, 1 na y axis. 0, 1. Then we have 2, 2. 2, 2 in the x axis and y axis 2. So, 2, 2. So, when I join these three points, this is going to be my line 1. Line 1 would equation and also write the equation x equals 2y minus 2. If a second equation and you have the points to be minus 4, 0. So, first minus 4, 0 na it is going to be here minus 4, 0, then 0, 1. Where is 0, 1? 0, 1 is again going to be here. This is the end common point. So, unique solution is 0, 1. Okay? So, you have 0, 1 here and you have 0, 1. Okay? Correct? So, this is going to be the unique solution. This is the point of intersection. But let's plot this. So, you have 4, 2. 4, 2 is going to be over here. Okay? When I join these three points, this is going to be the line. So, you have line 2 which is going to be x equals 4y minus 4. Okay. So, if a point of intersection and I see this is the point of intersection which is going to be 1 comma 0. Okay. So, point of intersection is 0 comma 1. Okay. Please copy. With this, we are done with the example questions. Let's move on to exercise questions. Okay. Nariya questions solve panenga. Rombo easy chapter. Okay.